I would like to thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to present my uh, work here in this conference, which is titled as the development of a 3D and a platform for the detection of bilirubin concentration present in human blood by employing surface enhanced plasma scattering and plasma enhanced fluorescence detection methodologies. Bilirubin is an endogenous pathological substance present in human blood, which is a major metabolite of hemoglobin. It gets deposited in the uh, human bloodstream and not secreted out. And the presence of excess bilirubin in human blood can lead to a series of diseases, which can be liver related and can also create neurological disorder, which can create brain damage and death even. And the considering the advantages of uh, SARS, namely, which can be a label free analytical technique, which gives intrinsic, unique molecular fingerprint information from various substances, and its high sensitivity, simplicity, flexibility, and fast analysis speed enables it to be an on site point of care testing technological tool. And the laser source used in SOS or Raman spectroscopy can be manipulated to avoid photo blitzing and photo degradation in uh, sensitive samples, which can therefore enable to achieve long term monitoring. And uh, the unique ability of SOS to detect multiple components simultaneously present in various organic, inorganic, or bio samples can therefore help us to get uh, insights into the unique molecular fingerprint informations. The experimental challenges involve the generation and utilization of 3D surface plasmons and the enrichment in 3D plasmonic hotspots. And as we are interested in both source and PEF analysis from human blood, we, so considering the facile and economic uh, viewpoints, we needed to construct a single platform for both of these purposes. And finally, to detect blood bilirubin. So these are some of the widely used nanostructures, particularly to manipulate surface plasmons. Normally, uh, we use noble metal nanoparticles. Uh, for the fact that the noble metal nanoparticles have copious amount of free electrons and these free electrons respond coherently to any sort of disturbance from the external electromagnetic field. And this sets the electron cloud into acceleration. And the electromagnetic field enhancement produced such as can be utilized to, for various purposes. And uh, the surface plasma resonance is largely geometry dependent. For example, in the case of nano rods, a very little change in the aspect ratio of the nano rods lead to a shift in the plasma resonance. So we are particularly interested in silver nano wires. As we can see here, this, these are two of the many configurations that we are particularly interested in. And uh, uh, in this configuration, the nanoparticles are inter intercepted by two nanowires, and here the case is opposite. The nanowire is sandwiched between two uh, nanospheres. In fact, these nanospheres represent as intersection points or junction points in our uh, analysis. So to see the electromagnetic field enhancement, we find that the uh, hotspots are particularly generated when the nanowires are intercepted by the nanospheres. And the similar case is uh, here in this configuration, this uh, when the nanowires are intercepted by nanospheres. So we see there is a generation of hotspots. So it indicates that the structural arrangement of silver nanowires can lead to more number of hotspots. So our next target was what if we construct a wood pile nanostructure? So the construction of 
a 3D random crust food pile nanostructure can lead to the generation of more number of hotspots, which can be used to detect an analyte. So to construct the 3D random crust food pile nanostructures from silver nanowires, we synthesize silver nanowires by the well-known polyol method. And to construct the 3D nano platform, we first sprinkled certain amount of silver nanowires onto a glass platform and subjected to vacuum dry. And we repeated this procedure subsequently so that uh, any sort of alignment would be destroyed so as to create an wood pile structured silver nanowires. So this represents the structural disarrangement of silver nanowires. And uh, as the substrate is ready, so the analytes can be drop cast onto the substrate and uh, followed by vacuum dry, which can then be used as a source of PEF analytical platform. So to evaluate the efficiency of our uh, SAR substrate created as such from the 3D nano platform, we used a standard molecule R6 gene. So here is the SAR spectra obtained from the R6 gene by variation in nano air amounts. And we can see optimized SAR response uh, can be achieved by variation in the silver nano air amount. And to achieve, to acquire source spectra, we normally took seven different measurements and then averaged. And to test its stability, we also tested the stability of the platform after 80 days. And to know its limit of detection, we buried the silver, the rhodamine 6G molar concentrations. And as you can see, it can detect uh, rhodomine 6 even up to quantum molar level. So this uh, proves our as constructed 3D nano platform to be an effective search platform. So to know the efficiency of our platform for plasma enhanced fluorescence imaging. So we can see here there is a great contrast between uh, R6C and R6C mixed with silver nano wires. Uh, pure R6C doesn't show any kind of um, fluorescence, but when it is uh, deposited on 3D random crust wire root pile silver nanostructures, we can see an increase in, in uh, the fluorescence. So using this fluorescence detection mechanism, so uh, it, it can be, so rhodomine 6 can also be detected in an analyte. So in these two experiments, we uh, proved that a single platform, which is uh, effective for both source and PEF measurements. Then we went on to detect bilirubin directly. So to get a molecular fingerprint from bilirubin, we buried the concentration of bilirubin and uh, uh, analyzed the nature of the spectra. So this is the source bilirubin molecular fingerprint. And then we uh, spiked bilirubin with fatal bovine serum. And also we observed the similar nature of the bilirubin molecular fingerprints in the source spectra. Then we went on to analyze uh, bilirubin concentration in blood samples. These blood samples were provided to us by a nearby hospital authorities. And uh, uh, these were collected from different patients with uh, different uh, concentration of bilirubin present in their blood, which ranges, ranges from two micromole to almost 360 micromole. And we used our as constructed 3D nano platform to detect bilirubin uh, to detect the concentration of bilirubin present in uh, these uh, blood samples. So as we can see, it also indicates that uh, the molecular fingerprint of bilirubin is also present here. And to further analyze, we particularly focused on 
to such bands, namely 1245 centimeter in mass and 1600 centimeter in mass really. And as you can see, uh, the trends in both the cases uh, are similar with increase in serum bilirubin concentration. So this proves that our nano platform can efficiently detect bilirubin concentration in human blood. This is the plasma enhanced fluorescence from bilirubin. As you can see, silver nano has do not display any fluorescence. And so is the case in bilirubin. But when bilirubin is uh, deposited on our nano platform, uh, which contains uh, three dimensional random cross to put pile silver nano wires, we can see uh, the fluorescence behavior. So this is a fast detection method to know the bilirubin concentration present in uh, the analyte. So again, we use the single platform to study both source and PEF. So to conclude my talk, we have utilized the 3D surface plasmons present in a specially designed three-dimensional random crushed wood pile silver wire nanostructures to detect blood bilirubin concentration. And uh, uh, we also constructed a single platform for both source and PEF analysis. And in our case, sample preparation was very simple. No pre-preparation was involved or any other further modification. We demonstrated uh, our technique to be level free with high sensitivity and fast detection. And uh, uh, our 3D nano platforms can be deposited on flexible substrates so as to widen their uses in other applications. And also, it can also improve the detection methodologies in hospitals for the use of uh, uh, like portable Roman spectrometers to detect the concentration of blood bilirubin present in uh, patients as an on-site detection platform. This concludes my talk and I thank all the participants who are listening to my talk. Thank you again.